What's up everyone, welcome to uh, FM Scout, I'm Tucker Jobs, and this is another episode of the Wonder Kid to Superstar, obviously we all love these, we all like to see Wonder Kids looking fantastic in the future, and this guy is no different. So here we are, introducing to you now is Benjamin Sheshko, alright, he is a Slovenian striker currently playing for uh, FC Red Bull Salzburg, great talent in that team, you should already know that, you've probably searched him and thought, yeah, there's, <laughs> there's some great wonder kids in this team, and there is, alright, um, but this guy is definitely a very good one. Now, if you don't know the potential ratings of players, this guy is, if you don't want to know, turn me off. If you do, um, 150 to 180 PA. Obviously, we try and get these guys as high as possible to show you uh, in the video. So currently, this guy's working on 177. All right, because I, I don't have the editor. All right, so bear in mind, he could become better on your save, um, but he could become worse. All right, you just got to make sure you try and get a, a decent one um, if you can. But uh, yeah, Benjamin Sheshko is already very good. 18 years old you can see his physicals are fantastic all right dribbling finishing first touch for a strike obviously the three big ones that you want and his mentals aren't bad the dude is six foot four all right so he's a, he's a big meaty striker up front and hopefully he will do a fantastic job now you can't pick him up at the start of the season uh, in the first season because he's just signed a new contract so you're gonna have to wait until the second season you could probably pick him up between 12 and 20 million depending on what his potential ability is in the game when you start yours uh, but we managed to get him for man united in the third season for 18 million so you might be able to get him a little bit cheaper because he had developed and he had become slightly decent but in this video we are going to simulate two seasons when he stays at salzburg and then he moves to united and that'll be for the rest of his career so let's have a look how he did in the first two seasons for salzburg now here he is two seasons later, obviously you can see that has improved a mile already, acceleration 16, jumping reach is 16, is a big lad, alright, heading's gone up, his dribbling, finishing first touch all gone up, everything's going up gradually but they're all going up, that's the good thing, uh, he is currently just signed for Manchester United as well, so if we go to the history stats, and uh, the last two seasons at Salzburg, first season started off a little bit weak. All right, nine goals, eight assists, 7.08 though, which is not bad on the average ratings. It's when he started getting into the into things, when he started developing a little bit more. His second season at Salzburg right there, 23 goals, seven assists, and um, 31 matches. Overall, it was 32 goals. So he did really, really well. But now is at Manu. Now he is getting the training from Manu, all right? They've got some top quality training facilities, um, coaches, everything like that. He should start flying up with his attributes. So we'll go another couple of years and we'll have a look what he looks like when he's had a few seasons at Manchester United. So here he is. He's now had two years in the Premier League. You can see on the bottom right here, career stats. He's currently played 74 games for Manu and scored 58 goals. That is not bad ratios at all. Player traits is picking up some now. Knocks ball past opponent because his pace has gone up. Acceleration's gone up. Balance has gone up. His other physical attributes are all going up slowly. Off the ball is now 17. Uh, first touch is turned to 16. Everything else is looking pretty good for a 22-year-old. He is nowhere near his potential ability yet. All right, it's going to get a lot better but he is already current ability four and a half stars potential four and a half stars he is already very very good now let's have a look what he actually accomplished at Man manchester united in these two seasons all right so you can see here um 29 goals in his first ever season in the premier league and we're not playing a broken tactic we're not playing a downloaded tactic we're just we've got a preset 4-2-4 tactic so we've got two strikers up front this is the tactic that we're currently playing obviously we cement him as the advanced forward here um so yeah nothing special about it guys you can actually just get this on the presets and everything like that and this is the one that we're going to stick with throughout his whole career as well but um yeah he done very well and obviously a season after that he got 29 goals again with 12 assists now that was just in the league if we go overall bottom here look 43 goals he scored in his first ever season in the premier league and then second season there 36 and 13 assists so he is looking mightily mightily good um 
already picking up some awards as well you can see here look he's got the austrian player of the year premier division uh, third place won the austrian premier league top goal scorer obviously that was when he was with salzburg uh, world under 21 footballer of the year twice all right he's already is saying right yeah this guy's going to be good this guy is going to be good european golden boy english premier division top goal scorer already <laughs> english players young player of the year twice and the european golden shoe so yeah definitely looking pretty decent if we have a look on his um, development our right, progress over the last two seasons you can see all here we can get the attributes of the last month of all time there we go on the bottom here you can see what's going up and everything everything is going up right a few little things that aren't going up you're tackling um teamwork and stuff like that but yeah the dude's flying the dude is absolutely flying. Like what stats, uh, what attributes have gone up the most? So his leadership's going up. Decisions has gone up by three over the last four years, three years. Uh, anticipation, gone up by three. Uh, first touch, finishing, dribbling, obviously all going up. Physicals are all flying up as well. So yeah, guys, that's just at Man U. That's not overall. Um, so I'm hoping that is going to progress a lot more. We can look at him at the, I would say, pinnacle of his career. So here we are now. We're pretty much 10 years in. 2030, all right, and uh, Sh Sheshko is now 27 years old. This is pretty much his prime, but I told you at the be beginning, guys, this guy isn't actually working on his top potential. His top potential is 180 PA. He was currently 177 when we loaded up, um, and that is what he looks like. Now, this guy is a complete physical beast. If you work on his training, because we barely worked on any of his training, this is just a natural progression. Um, if you work on his training, there's no reason why, apart from the natural fitness, on his physicals, you can get every single every single attribute there, 16 or above. All right, You can truly make him a physical monster. Um, but his dribble and finishing first touch is good. Obviously, his mental is going up. Off the ball is 18. Composure is 16. Uh, if we look at the amount of games he's played for United, obviously, we stuck him in the advanced four positions. Played 260 games and scored 226. Now, this lad has started winning quite a few things. Now, he's 27 years old. He's been in the Premier League a long time. He is uh, one of the world's global superstars all right so he's now a superstar when the kid's superstar we've done it guys um if we look at all of his awards here so he's got the under 21 footballer of the year twice european golden ball we've seen that english premier league top goal scorer five occasions english players young player of the year three times european golden shoe three times european international league best player european international league best young player English Footballer of the Year three times. English Players Player of the Year three times. World Footballer of the Year. World Golden Ball. And the big one, guys, is the World Player of the Year. He won it in 2028 right there when he appeared 49 times for Manchester United and scored 57 goals. He had a fantastic season. He has pretty much reached his pinnacle now. Um, and he played very, very well. So... Yeah, if you, if you can get this guy, all right, you might not be able to get him first season unless you start with Salzburg, all right? Might be with someone that you want to keep hold of if you can. Um, but second season is going to be the best time to pick him up. And then just, he, he becomes so good. Um, such a physical out-and-out -out striker, all right? You don't want to play him in any other positions. I wouldn't. Obviously, you might like the inside forward being big and beefy. Um, but I'll play him up front, all right? Because he's fast, he's agile, he can jump, he can head. Uh, work on other attributes if you want to just mould him a certain way because we never trained him. But yeah, this this lad is absolutely incredible. If we look at his development, all right, and his progress over all this time. So all time, look, you can see right down here what's gone up and on his physicals like the agility went up by four balance went up by four stamina three pace two strength two all right so if you work on those physicals imagine getting them all apart from natural fitness because that doesn't really change um getting all of his physicals up to like 17 he'll be an absolute demon demon at the front for you um or you could focus on more of his technicals and try and get those up a little bit better but from what he looks like, he is he is insane. He is very, very good. And you can see already, 
is flying up. It's flying up. It's the end of uh, the 30-30 season. All right, we're in May, so we're just about to start. And the good thing about this, guys, is we simmed a lot more. All right, we carried this player on till pretty much near the end of his career. All right, he's going to be 36 the next time we see this dude. And we're going to have a look at what he accomplished in all of his time at Manchester United. And, yeah, it's insane. It's insane. He did truly become uh, one of history's great, greatest players. So here we are. All right, Sheshko is now 36 years old, pretty much winding down. He can still do a job, mind you. All right, he can probably go on a few more seasons and be very, very good and accomplish quite a lot. But um, yeah, he started slowing down a little bit, started uh, not winning as many individual awards so i thought now would be the best time to highlight everything he's actually done in his career so as you can see by the bottom right here manchester united he played 594 games for manu and scored 572 that's so close to literally scoring as many as he played um yeah <laughs> It's definitely a very good ratio right there. You can see that even though his physicals have gone down, his balance and jump and reach is still high, but his other physicals have obviously dropped. But that's where his mental start coming up. All right, he is very good off the ball, 19, vision 16. You might want to just turn him into a deep line playmaker. Obviously, he's still big. He can still head, so he might do a job there. He's got a little bit of passing ability in him as well. Composure was 17, anticipation, flair, is is insane finishing went up to 16 first touch 17 again guys you can mold him how you want to because he starts off very young and um, you can work on his technicals get it to the point where he's dribbling f finishing and first touch are all 16 or above at a younger age or like or like he did here focus all his physicals and become an absolute monster in front of goal but if we have a look at his history then career stats all this time at Man U, you can see here. So, let's just start from the first season he ever obviously started at Manchester United. Scored 29 goals in the league, 43 overall. We go next up, all right? 29 again, 36 overall. 30 goals and then 40 uh, overall. So, 2026 20, season, look, 27 goals, 38 overall. His best season, if we have a look, was actually the 33-34 season. No, 34-35 season. He scored 59 league goals, 66 in all competitions, using a bog-standard tactic that's just preset. An 8.24 average rating <laughs> and 11 assists. The guy was insane. And he carried on. Be like, he's 36 years old and we've just finished the season and he's still got 27 goals, 46 in all competitions. All right, so yeah, if we go back to the overview, looking at his biography, all right, so if we start off past all the Austrian side, because that was when he was with Salzburg, so um, English, uh, English Premier Division top goal scorer, 14 times, every single season he was top goal scorer, every season. European Golden Shoe, 12 occasions. European International League Best Player. European International League Best Young Player. English Football Player of the Year, 8 times. English Players Player of the Year, 8 times. World Footballer of the Year, 7 times. World Golden Ball, 8, eight times. World Player of the Year. Alright, so the Ballon d'Or, basically. <sighs> Sheshko. 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 All right, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight Ballon d'Ors in his career. And then he started dropping off. But even then, he came second here. And the 38, he came third. He is still doing the job. All right, he's still one of the best players in the world at 35, 36 years old. And yeah, incredible. Incredible. Um,. There's not much else, all right? He obviously is not worth much now because he's 36, but the dude was about 200, 200 million pound player uh, back in his prime. So yeah, if you can get this guy, all right? Benjamin Sheshko, guys, he is incredible, a physical monster. You can mold him to be a much better technical player if you want it as well. But apart from that, there's nothing wrong with this player. There's nothing wrong with him. He is big, 
He was fast, he can head, he can finish, and he had great mentals as well. He had, he had a fantastic career at Manchester United. If we have a look, it is full-time development, all right, progress. Overall, obviously, it would have dropped now. But yeah, it's not looking too bad. Not looking too bad. His attributes are dropping there, but it's, it's the fact that he's still... Even though he's losing physically, all his mentals went up. All right, so he still became a much wiser player, and it's pretty much what happened to Ronaldo in real life. All right, he never he he's still fast. Don't get me wrong, still skillful and still good, still a physical monster for the player that he is. But even he understood that he was getting slower and couldn't do the things he could when he was younger, and he got much wiser for it. His mentals went up. His, his technicals are still very good. So this is pretty much what happened to Sheshko. Right, so yeah. A complete forward, basically, can do everything. And an absolute treat. He picked up a load of traits as well. Runs with ball through centre, moves into channels, shoots with power, overhead kicks, and knocks ball past the opponent and tries tricks. All right? Yeah. So if you're going to get him, guys, hopefully he is fantastic for you. If you've already got him or had him before, how did he get on for you? All right? And uh, hopefully he was fantastic because in this uh, simulation here in this wonder kid superstar video he was incredible so hopefully he is good for you let us know in the comments and uh, if you enjoyed this video guys subscribe like and if you've got time as well go in the description and go to my channel as well check me out and support me over there too guys and uh, yeah we'll see you in the future bye